if I wasn't in poker, if I was in any other industry, I would want to strive to be the best. Um, having said that, I'm also a pretty realistic person and I value comfort and uh, a good balanced lifestyle over, you know, doing whatever it takes to become the best in the world. Meet Xuan Liu. Xuan's story starts out like many others. She emigrated from China with her family at age five, grew up in Toronto, and went to university at Waterloo. But fast forward a few years and Xuan's lifestyle is anything but ordinary. Xuan plays poker. She makes a living playing on the internet and competing in major live tournaments around the world. For the final episode of our short poker documentary series, Easy Game, we fly to Toronto to meet Schwann on her home turf and find out more about one of the fastest rising stars in poker. Growing up, I mean, I actually moved a ton of schools. Almost every single year, I'd been to about 15 different schools since before college. Um, just because I was in like the gifted program and there were government cutbacks and you know my parents were separated so every time we'd move I would have to go to another school. I never thought I would grow up to be a poker player but um, you know looking back it just all makes sense. always really into like chess and checkers and go and like all those really complicated strategy games you know like I would just learn the rules and maybe get like half a game in and then be like I give up like I can't do this I don't understand what's going on I don't know what to do but then you know her and my dad would they would both be you know like sitting across like the table just thinking about their next moves and you I could like see the like the wheels turning in both of their heads I used to play poker variations like draw and stud and stud eight with stuffed animals and pretend like I had, you know, limited information for each party and make decisions based on hypothetical scenarios as to what each stuffed animal would do. I met Schwann back at Waterloo when I, we were both studying there, I guess. Uh, would have been around 2005, 2006. And uh, yeah, I met her because she hosted a poker game in her, you know, in her apartment with her boyfriend at the time. They both, uh, both had dealt in like charity casinos or something around Toronto, so they you know, knew what they were doing. And uh, yeah, they ran this you know, illegal one-two no-limit game in their apartment in Waterloo. That November, um, WPT Fallsview was coming to town with all these superstars and I was able to play with my heroes uh, Vanessa Selps and Kathy Liebert. I had zero tournament experience um, but when I won these satellites to play this event you know I was like well, you know why not just take this bullet and gamble my, my way up. So the first time that Sean invited me to come watch her play at PCA. She flew me and my parents down, and it was really exciting. A ace queen, snap call, automatic. All in. Ace of clubs on the river. Schwann moves ace of queen holes. My first impressions of Schwann were that uh, underneath that shy exterior, there was an intelligence, always listening, always taking information in. And uh, I noticed that a lot of other people during downtime, you know, they would focus on partying or going out. And Schwann would always be there, but always with an ear open to poker strategy. So she was always absorbing what was going on around her. And I think that's really served her well. Um, and it's one of the reasons why she's such a great player. She thinks about the game in a very analytical way, which I don't know if I would necessarily say is the case for a lot of poker players in general, let alone female poker players who really think about the game in a good way. Like she's able to observe things in a way where you don't, it's, it's subtle, but it's, I'd say, a very intense focus and concentration that I don't think that many people have. There are only 
three players remaining at this final table, and one of the reasons for that is joining me right now, Shuan Lu. You had an action-packed level and a very profitable one as well. Tell me about it. Um, you know, today I've just been running really, really good. Doesn't matter what I do, I'm hitting all the hands. Um, I'm getting paid off when I have monsters, and I'm sucking out when I'm behind. So, I mean, I'm really fortunate today. Even though at EPT San Remo, I still hadn't had that much Sherman experience, I felt like my cash game background was perfect for, you know, beginning deep stack poker. Once I got deeper into the tournament, you know, on the bubble and even um, deeper than that, I began to notice that, you know, the fields were getting filled with more pros. I just had no experience whatsoever playing the stack sizes that we were playing for this much money. It, it was disappointing, but I was actually so thrilled um, to even have come in third place with the experience I had. It was such an adrenaline rush um, every step of the way. One of the really cool things about gaining this uh, notoriety of sorts is that now I have a platform where people will actually listen to what I have to say. And one of the issues that have al has always been really close to me is to empower females to do what they love. Um, I think a lot of strides have been made in terms of gender equality across all industries, um, but I think there's a lot of improvement that can be made. I think the most impressive thing that I found about Shuan, and not a lot of people know this about her, is the strong ethical core that she has. I've seen situations where nobody else is watching and she doesn't even know that I'm watching, and she does the right thing. And she, she does it very consistently. She has like a very strong code that she lives by. She will not break that code for anyone, even me, which I find awesome. I think it's incredible that I get to play a poker game or any game to make a living. I get to travel whenever I want to. Um, I have amazing friends and from all, all walks of life. And I think my ultimate goal going forward is just to uh, be completely financially free um, and be able to support my friends and family. And you know, growing up with not that much, uh, it's really important for me um, to sort of give my parents and you know, my friends the opportunities I never had growing up. 